Hello to all of our Construction Week followers. Today we're at the one and only Burj Al Arab Jumeirah. Today I will be speaking with Andy Nicholson, the General Manager and Director of Experience of Inside Burj Al Arab. So sit back and enjoy the show as we take you to one of the most luxurious hotels in the world. Good morning, Andy. Thank you for welcoming me at Inside Burj Al Arab. How are you feeling today? Yeah, great. It's a great pleasure to have you here. Talk to us about this new concept that Burj Al Arab has recently unveiled and why is it important for this iconic structure that was constructed and completed back in 1999? Well, yeah, so for the first time in its 21-year history, um, Burj Al Arab is opening its doors so that everyone that was at the end of the bridge, just looking from afar, can finally get the chance to, to come inside and just experience this extraordinary design. The architecture from afar has always drawn people here, but now they're actually getting to experience it inside. That's great. And how does this newly created inside of the Burj Al Arab experience blend the original design now with the new technology such as augmented reality, for example? Well, the original design is still really, really attractive to people, and some people are seeing that for the first time, and they're still you know, being almost knocked backwards when they, they first Definitely. go through those doors. Um, but what we're able to do now is add new technologies to help tell that story. So when Tom Wright, the architect, first drew the sketch, it was actually on a napkin, it's just behind you at, at the moment. Now we get to um, have Tom tell that story in a digital way so that you can see him draw it on a screen. You can see the drawings come to life. And then with augmented reality, you get to tell the, the history of the building. So by looking through the screen, you can see Dubai growing up under the shadow of Burj Al Arab that had been there for, for 20 years in a very, very new city. Um, so uh, one of the great things is that you see children playing with iPads and the birds will just suddenly appear and they can explore the design. That's it's fantastic. Absolutely amazing. Thank you for that. Now, how does this journey resonate Burj Al Arab status as a landmark of, of architectural innovation in the UAE? Well, um, you know, Burj Al Arab was designed to be inspirational for the, the people of Dubai. And the, the vision of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed was that it would create that landmark that had never been seen before, would never be seen again. Um, and that building is, is timeless. That's why it's just as relevant today as it was then. But now we're bringing people closer. We're beginning to allow them inside and retell that story of how you know, Burj Al Arab has just transformed the landscape of Dubai. Definitely, this is not something secretive anymore. Everybody can get a chance to check it out and see what it is inside that made it so special all these years. So I think everybody is very excited for that. Now, my final question for you would be, what does this mean for the future of Burj Al Arab? Um, well, I think it means it's a really exciting future. Um, while um, the, the timeless design is still drawing new audiences, actually we're able to use some of the new technologies. So for example, um, we managed to put uh, an augmented reality um, image that was filmed from our helipad you know, wow. over um, a long period of slow stills. That means that while we're sitting in one of the suites, you can actually go through a portal and you're up in the helipad viewing 360 degree views wow. from the top of Burj Al Arab. Um, so I think the, the future is really, really exciting. It is the hotel of the future now, isn't it? That, certainly we hope so. Definitely. Thank you so much for your time today, Andy. It was an honor speaking to you and, and being here today and seeing all these spectacular architectural pieces. So thank you for that and best of luck in the future. Great pleasure. Glad you enjoyed it. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed today's fascinating episode discovering the vision behind one of the most iconic landmarks in Dubai. I'm Mina, reporter at Construction Week, and thank you for tuning in. Make sure to like and comment your thoughts, as well as subscribe to our YouTube channel for more iconic content.